Good morning, friends. It's Monday, the 9th of March, and it's time for the start of another reading vlog. I did fail in getting uh, Heir to Murder done yesterday, so I did not get one book done <laughs> um, for the 8th. But I'm hoping to actually get it done today because I, I just, I think I can. Because <laughs> I, I probably will just relax when I get home from work today since I was so busy yesterday. I just kind of feel like having a cozy reading night tonight. So I'm hoping to get it done today. Um, and then also I started this morning while I was getting ready for work. Uh, while I was uploading my um, weekend vlog, I started Anne of the Island on my phone uh, via audiobook. So I have already about seven chapters done in that one. So I might actually get that done today too. So we'll see if I can get two books done today, then I'm right back on the one book a day uh, schedule. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm going to try not to... Um, pressure myself though, but we'll see. So, and I'm also uh, continuing in the buddy read that I thought started today, but actually started yesterday of Echo with Tia from Tia and all the books. So far, I am really enjoying it. I am listening to the audio book and the physical book, uh, reading it along with it. And I think that's a really awesome way to do it. I think that's how everyone should do it because there's things in the uh, physical book that um, are kind of like the harmonica um, notes kind of uh, for certain songs and that's just really interesting to see at first I was like what is this I don't because it's like numbers instead of actual notes that's why I didn't know what to call it <laughs> um and I didn't know what it was but then I was like oh that's for the harmonica that's awesome so and then of course the audiobook has the actual songs um in it that they talk about so that's really cool to to listen to while reading and it just gives a little added something to the story so um but I'll have more thoughts on that later so right now it's time to get to work and my neighbor's son is coming out of his door to go to school so I don't want him to see me talking to my phone so I'll talk to you later <laughs> bye hello friends it is about 7 45 at night now on Monday and I did a little bit of OT today so I um just got home not long ago so I was pretty beat so I just took a bath and uh, relaxed in the tub for a little bit and put on my PJs so but the good thing about doing OT was after everybody left and I was the only one in the office I got a lot of my audiobook of Anne of the Island done and I ended up finishing it. So I am back on track with a book a day. <laughs> so, um, wow, well, I'm not on track. I'm one day behind, <laughs> So, but that's okay. Um, and I did read a little bit, like one chapter in Air to Murder at lunch, but, um, but I didn't get a lot of physical reading done yet today. Uh, I still have to read uh, or listen to and read my section of Echo today for um, my buddy read with Tia. So I'm going to do that in a little bit and look over the career guide for the owls that just came out today. Um, I said to myself, I said, self, you are not going to do a big readathon in April. You're done. And then I watched G's video, and now I kind of want to do it. <laughs> so, uh, but only if I find a career that doesn't have a lot of um, requirements in it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to peruse it today while I am listening to Echo, and then yeah, and then we'll we'll decide when we see how see how burned out I am by the end of the month. Um, oh, but anyway, I should say, um, Anne of the Island, I enjoyed this one. So far of the three that we've read so far, it is probably my least favorite. 
but it was still good. I mean, I, it's still like just a really sweet read that feels really um, wholesome and just feels like coming home. And it's pretty much everything I love in a classic series. Um, it has a sweet romance and um, just some some antics and it's just kind of like slice of life type things. But there were just a few things in this one that I won't go into because it's the beginning of the month and people that are participating in the read along have till the end of the month to finish the book. So I don't want to, you know, spoil anything for anybody. Hold on. As per usual, I need to cough. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there were just a few things in this one that I wasn't really excited about, <laughs> but they weren't like huge parts of the story. They were just a few things that I was like, oh, why did that need to be in there? You know, just kind of didn't seem to fit um, what I feel like Anne of Green Gables was. Um, it, they just weren't like, they kind of took me out of the sweetness of the story. A little bit um but but for the most part it was still very sweet and um oh and the other thing i didn't like about it was there just seemed to be a lot of superfluous characters in this one um just seemed to be introduced to a lot of new people which i get because this is when Anne goes off to college um so of course she's meeting new people you're meeting new people and that's great and that's fine. But it just seemed like a lot of people that just kind of came in and out and that we probably won't see again. <laughs> so, um, so it just, it was hard to connect with a lot of the characters in this, but we did get a lot of the old standbys too. So, and then of course Gilbert was involved and, uh, Diana was involved and just, Marilla and all the old favorites. So it was still good. So, but yeah, I am going to start listening to Echo. I think I will get a beer because it's been a long day <laughs> and uh, just kind of relax and listen to a lovely harmonica story. And well, I don't know if this is going to be lovely. It's a little intense right now, <laughs> but, um, but the music is beautiful. And, um, yeah, and look at my careers guide. <laughs> so, all right, I will probably talk to you tomorrow. Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. It is now March the 10th, and I'm getting ready to go to work. And I uh, just figured I'd pop on here and tell you what my day's plans are. I finished Anne of the Island last night, which I think I told you about. And I am into my buddy read of Echo with Tia from Tia and all the books. So today I think my plan is for audiobook to listen to the next part in Echo. Uh, Tia and I talked about it last night and we think because it's a fast read, we can read um, a section a day. There are four parts to it. So the first two days we took to read the first section, but they were pretty fast. So, um, and I'm three hours ahead of Tia. So she told me to let her know like how my reading goes for the day and she'll just read to whatever I got to. So that'll, that'll work. Cause I think I can, um, listen to it today as long as everything stays quiet. I don't want to do overtime today. <laughs> So I'm hoping I can get a lot done during the day. So I'm hoping not a lot of people come in and not a lot of people talk to me. <laughs> I mean, I like my coworkers, but sometimes I'm like, guys, I just, I need to get stuff done. So anyway, I'm, I'm hoping to get my section of Echo done. And if that goes really fast and I'm done with that, I think I'm going to switch to the audio book of The Night Gardener by Jonathan Oxier. I've been wanting to read more of Oxier's works since I read Sweep last year. And um, The Night Gardener was on Scribd in audiobook. So I think I will start on that one. And then for my physical book, 
I still need to finish Charlie Heathcote's book, The Heir to Murder. Um, I'm like 50% done, but I just have not gotten a chance to like physically read in the last couple of days. And I feel really bad about that because it's a really nice fast read and I'm enjoying it. So like, I feel like the fact that I'm not getting it done makes it look like I'm not enjoying it, but it's just been timing <laughs> has not worked for me for physical reading uh, last weekend and so far this week. <laughs> so, but Charlie, I will get this done. And my my plan is tonight, if I don't work overtime, I can be home early, I can put a load of laundry in, and I can sit down and read the dang book. <laughs> so that is my plan. So, all right. Well, I am going to get to work, and I will check in with you tonight and tell you if I actually succeeded in finishing Charlie's book. Hello. I feel like we have gone the last two days from uh, made up, ready to work, rainy to home exhausted looking like poop rainy <laughs> for the last two days <laughs> so I just got home from work I did not end up doing overtime today because I ended up getting one of those I think they're called ocular migraines where my my good eye because I can't really see out of this eye so or well at least not well but this eye got all fuzzy so, and then I got a headache once that got better. So, I decided not to do my overtime. So, I'm home. I'm in my my uh, Christmas PJs. <laughs> and I, I went to read because I listened to the second part of Echo today, which I just finally picked up from the library. Which, ooh, side note, my librarian, who teases me every time I go in because I'm there so much, um, last week when I was there picking up more books, I told her about my booktube channel and my Instagram, and she, she apparently went and looked for me, and so she said something to me today. She's like, ooh, I like your Instagram, and I like and your and your vlog was really fun. I was like, oh yay! <laughs> so I I don't know why, but I just really didn't expect her to actually look it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> but um, so anyway, that was fun. Um, and then so I got this, and I've already been listening to the um audio book with Tia, but uh, I want I like to have the real book to just kind of peruse and especially when it's an an um a middle grade book because sometimes there's illustrations there's not in this but I just like the cover the cover is beautiful and look there's a harmonica on on the title so that's exciting oh and right there <laughs> so um, 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 um but oh okay so that I've already read part two in this today well listen to it so I probably won't I'm not gonna read any more of this tonight so, but I do want to uh, attempt at least to finish Heir to Murder today so that I can still have a book done. And I'm like 50% done. <laughs> I think I can do it if I push myself. So, um, so yeah, that is the plan for tonight. Oh, and I wanted to show you something else. I keep forgetting to show you guys. But I am making some progress on sock attempt number two. <laughs> um, I don't know if I ever shared, but the first sock that I attempted to knit a few months ago, I got to the heel flap and gusset, and I completely screwed it up. And I didn't have the little, it's got a lifeline where you put like a piece of thread through the stitches so that you don't lose them if you have to rip some stitches out and I forgot to add it back in <laughs> so I ruined the entire sock so I took a little time off <laughs> and I'm going to retry with a different type of heel so I'm getting to the point I have about five inches here and I need and this is like a toe up 
sock. So this is like the foot of the sock. So I need about six inches before I can start the heel. And I am at about four and a half right now. So if I get some of my other things done today, I'm going to continue with my sock. But I'm just taking it good and slow <laughs> so that I don't get frustrated with myself. Uh, so, but anyway, I'm going to try to finish Air to Murder. I will check in with you if that happens. Good morning, friends. It is Thursday. I did not update you yesterday because I had a terrible day. <laughs> so, I just thought I, I don't want to be in front of the camera. I got home from work about 7 o'clock and I just pulled my hair up, took a bubble bath, got a gin and tonic and some ice cream, and I sat and read because <laughs> I just, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't even want to talk to the camera. So anyway, the good news of that is that I finally finished The Heir to Murder by Charles Heathcote, who is on booktube, and this was really fun. I, I like... Charlie's um, voice in this and if you watch his booktube channel um, you can kind of like hear him talking <laughs> in this I thought and um, and he's just really good at making his characters seem both hilarious and just relatable um, and human like there was no character in this that was like all good or all bad or just I guess not all good and all bad, but like everyone was flawed. We'll say that. So, um, but the mystery was really good and it kept me guessing. I, I didn't really, um, I didn't suspect the murderer for most of the book until I guess I was supposed to. <laughs> um, and he threw enough like red herrings in there that it, uh, surprised me so um so yeah it was it was a really good good book I gave it four stars and I am prepared to pick up everything else that Charlie has written he read he's written a series uh a trilogy I think I don't know if there's going to be more I think there are so I don't think it's going to be a trilogy I think it'll be a series um about a woman named Doris and I think I don't think it's like a mystery I think it's just like a comedic contemporary type book series. So I think I'm going to pick up at least the first one of those in the near future. So, and then for middle grade March, I finished Echo by Pam Munez Ryan. I took everyone's advice and I um, listened to the audiobook along with, um, you know, reading the physical book. And that was awesome. That was the greatest way to uh, experienced this book because of all the music that was present in the audiobook and um it was a I don't know if you'd call it a full cast narration but it was a story told in multiple parts and um I believe each part was played was narrated by a different narrator that went along with the voices of the characters in the book <laughs> I'm not saying that very well, but you know what I mean. So, but this, I was buddy reading this with Tia from Tia and all the books. And she's like three hours behind me in a time zone. Um, so I would, I would get it done and I would send my thoughts to her. And then like the next morning I'd wake up to her thoughts. <laughs> so there are three different storylines in this book. Four actually, but three that we get the most of. And um, there were a couple that I really related to and really felt strongly about. And one that wasn't so, wasn't as interesting to me, but it was still really great. It was just a different kind of storyline, I guess, than the other two. So, um, so yeah, there's a little something in here for everyone, definitely. I have to switch my arms. <laughs> I need to get like better vlogging arms. <laughs> so, but, um, but yeah, I definitely gave Echo five stars. I definitely understand the hype. And um, this is 
this is definitely, I keep saying definitely, this is in the running at this point, and it's early yet, but this is in the running for my favorite middle grade of the month. Um, I'm not going to say the year because I still think I like to sweep more, but, or not of the year, of all time. I mean, I still like, I think I like to sweep better, but this was, this might be a second. I don't know. I'll have to think about that a little bit. <laughs> so, but anyway, so for today, I gotta, sorry, I got things all over the place and I gotta leave for work. So, Today, I'm going to continue my middle grade, and for my audiobook, I am going to read Peter Nimble and His Fantastic Eyes by Jonathan Oxier, and um, that is the same author who wrote Sweep, and I keep saying that I want to read everything Jonathan Oxier has ever written, and this is the first time I've picked anything else up by him, so, and I need to do the middle grade book tag this weekend because I was tagged in it. Um, and even if I wasn't tagged in it, I would still have done it because, I mean, this is, this is like my second favorite, uh, readathon of the year. <laughs> so, um, but I, so I need, one of the things is, one of the questions is, who is your favorite middle grade author? And I have read like so many middle grades by different authors that I, you know, just because I liked one book by the author, I don't necessarily know that I've read like multiple things by any middle grade authors. So I want to try to do that a little bit before I do that tag <laughs> so that I can at least say at the moment who is my favorite. Because spoiler alert, Jonathan Oxier would be my um, my pick at this point, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> so, and then also for my physical read, if I can get to a physical read today, we'll see, is going to be The Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo. Um, I have heard really great things about Kate DiCamillo, but I don't think that I've ever read anything by her. I don't think that I've ever read The Tale of Despero. Um, so, I picked this up at a, the library book sale last, last year sometime. So, so you can tell it's a shiny library copy, but it's mine. So this would go for the prompt of illustrations. And I think, is there a screen adaptation of this? I don't know. I'll have to look into that. If you know, let me know. Um, but it's, it's pretty short. It's got deckled edges, Krista. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but uh, it's pretty short. So... I might be able to finish this one today too. And then if I can, because this, this is the 12th today, I'm one book behind in my uh, book a day challenge for myself. So if I can finish this one and Peter Nimble, I'll be caught up. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so, all right, friends, I got to get to work. I can't believe it's only Thursday. <laughs> I'm so tired and I just want the weekend to come. All right, friends. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello, friends. It is Friday, and it is Friday the 13th. And in typical Friday the 13th fashion, I have bad news. <laughs> oh, the library book sale that was scheduled for next weekend has been canceled due to all the coronavirus craziness. So I kind of was thinking about that today. And thought, oh, I bet you there's not going to be a library book sale. And then our governor um, closed all the schools and for the next two weeks. And usually whatever the schools do, the library does. So that is what they're doing. They will be closed for the next two weeks. So uh, on to other things. I finished Peter Nimble and His Fantastic Eyes today by Jonathan Oxier, and it was really, really good. It was really different from uh, Sweep, the story of a girl and her monster that uh, we read as the group read last year. And because of that, I that book, because it was my favorite book of 2019, I decided I want to start reading all of Jonathan Oxier's books. So um, I decided I found an audiobook of it on Scribd, so I decided to start with that one. So it was it was really different. It was a um, 
it was like a pretty overt fantasy. Whereas I feel like Sweep, it has magical elements, but I wouldn't consider it a fantasy. It was more of a historical fantasy or historical fiction with a magical element. So, but this one was pretty overt fantasy about a orphan boy who is blind and um, has kind of been raised as a thief. So kind of think Oliver Twist, <laughs> sort of, with a magical element. <laughs> um, and he just gets off up to a lot of different adventures. And uh, yeah, I don't want to say a whole heck of a lot about it because I feel like it'll give away the plot. But he uh, gets sent on a quest and... Um, excuse me, coughing, of course. Yes, it was darker than I would have expected it to be, which I don't really know why, because Sweep was kind of, it was dark. Um, and it always surprises me how dark middle grade can get. Like, I don't know, I just must not have read that kind of thing when I was a kid. But, because, like, I remember all of my middle grade being, like, pretty tame. <laughs> um, here and there, there might have been a few you know, more adventurous things with some sword fighting and stuff, but I just, I don't remember it being this, like, there was some blood in this and, you know, actual, like, death and stuff. I don't remember it, it, reading that whenever I was a kid, but I I was always kind of a squeamish kid, so maybe that's why. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, right now I am tidying up my house because... Tomorrow, I have a group of girlfriends coming over to have an early um, uh, St. Patrick's Day dinner. We're going to have shepherd's pie or cottage pie because I'm using ground beef. And my friend is bringing Irish soda bread and Guinness. And we're having wine and um, a cheese board and just all kinds of goodies. And <laughs> so um, I need to tidy my house. There is nothing quite like company to make you clean your house. Am I right? <laughs> I think I'm just going to watch some booktube while I do that instead of reading because I am physically reading at the moment um, The Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo, but I'm only like 30 some pages in. But it goes really fast. So I'm thinking once I get all my tidying done today, I might sit down and read for a while. So and probably get that one done. So I'll check in with you probably tomorrow morning. Hello, friends. It's Saturday. Yay. Thank goodness. Last week was so long. <laughs> and Friday, Friday the 13th, mind you, was very Friday the, fir the 13th-esque. But um, today is going to be fun. I am actually having people over, which probably is horribly against the coronavirus thingy. <laughs> but um, I already had this planned. It's just five of my friends who are very responsible people. And I'm sure they are perfectly healthy and clean. They'll be fine. So... <laughs> Um, we're going to have a St. Patrick's Day dinner, so you can't really see. There we go. Can we see? I don't know. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, see? My shamrock shirt. So, <laughs> I am making shepherd's pie. Actually, cottage pie, because I'm using, um, ground beef. And I guess shepherd's pie is lamb. And I don't think I like lamb. I, I've had lamb. I don't like it. So... I decided to go for the much more economical ground beef option. And my friend Katie is coming and she is making Irish soda bread. And she she actually already made it and she sent me a picture last night. It looks so good. Mm. And, um, and then my friend Kim is bringing a cheese board with some Irish cheeses from Aldi. <laughs> and... My friend Danielle is coming with her little daughter, and uh, she is bringing a dessert. I don't know what she's bringing yet. And my friend Dawn is coming, and she's bringing wine. <laughs> she was kind of a last-minute um, addition, so not addition. I mean, I, I invited her at the same time as everyone else, but she wasn't sure she could come. So, um, so she 
found out that she could come at the last minute. So by that point, I would kind of farmed out all the other things. So I said, hey, you can never have too much wine, right? So we're going we're gonna to kill the coronavirus with alcohol. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not going to drink that much. We're responsible adults. <laughs> but And there's going to be kids here. So um, you you have all, if you've been around a while, seen my, um, my condo. It's not terribly huge. So it's going to be a lot of people in, in a small-ish space. So hopefully it works out. There's only going to be one little kid here. My friend Katie is bringing her 13-year-old daughter. So I'm hoping... <clears throat> that maybe she will keep the little one occupied. I'm going to give them some like art supplies that they can do at the kitchen table after we eat so that the so that the grown up ladies can talk. <laughs> so we'll see. So now I'm sitting down to just eat a little brief snack. I am currently reading and I don't have it with me because I'm a horrible vlogger. I um, am reading The Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo. And I don't know that I will finish a book today just because I have so much other things to do. I should listen to an audiobook, but I'm kind of catching up on booktube right now. But if I catch up on all the things that I want to watch on booktube, I might I might change to an audiobook. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. I don't really have one on the docket. But now that the library is closed, <laughs> I gotta, I'm going to be probably utilizing Scribd a whole lot and Overdrive. Um, and yeah, so, uh, and well, maybe Amazon, Amazon might be delivering me some books. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I have plenty to read and that's really not an issue, but, um, yeah, but that's more what I'm panicked about than coronavirus. I don't know what I'm going to read. <laughs> I don't have access to my library anymore. <laughs> so, but anyway, I am going to finish the glass of wine that I started having, then take my garbage down to the dumpster, and then finish cleaning my basement that is like partially finished into a family room in case we all are just too tight up here. Then we can go down there and let the kids kind of play down there. So we'll see how that works. So wish me luck, but we will be safe. Don't worry. We won't carry germs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi friends, it's now Sunday morning <laughs> and I am not like still wearing my clothes from yesterday, but I put my shirt back on because I filmed my middle grade book tag and I feel like I'm going to probably put it out on Tuesday. So that means that it'll be St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so I figured I should probably look the part, right? <laughs> but I decided just to keep going with the vlog today <clears throat> and put out just a long vlog. So I don't know if I should be sorry or be like, yay, you get a long video. <laughs> but anyway, um, because I was cleaning and uh, partying <laughs> with my friends last night, I did not get much read, so I got about 73 pages read of The Tale of Despero, which I left in the other room from my filming. But I I plan to get it done today because, because I cleaned so much before my friends came, and then I had a lot of cleanup after they left. <laughs> so a five-year-old came to my house, so you can imagine. Um, <clears throat> it was fun, but I had a lot of cleanup to do, and I was going to leave it until today, but I started like scraping food off of the plates and stuff and was just like, just put it in the dishwasher now, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> so I ended up cleaning up late last night. So this morning I woke up and I was like, you know what? I'm just taking this opportunity to stay in bed all day and read. And I did that for the first few hours um, off and on. And so I'm almost done with Tale of Despero, but then I got tired of the silence and decided I needed to film my video. So now I am going to finish Tale of Despero, hopefully, 
and then we'll pick something else to read. Yay! <laughs> All right, see you in a little bit. Good evening, friends. It is now Sunday evening, and I just thought I better wrap this vlog up because it is going to be a long one. <laughs> and uh, I figured I would just kind of wrap it up for the week and so I can start fresh tomorrow with some new books. <laughs> so the first thing that I finished today was The Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo. This was really cute. It was sweet. Um, the writing was great, <laughs> of course. Um, I've, I've never read a Kate DiCamillo, but everybody that does read her loves her writing. So I was expecting good writing and I got it. Um, I really liked in this one how uh, the, uh, the narrator addresses the reader and tries to help the reader to learn some big words and um, just kind of tries to aid the reader in learning things, which is always nice to see in a middle grade. Um, there were words that uh, came up that she would address the reader and say like, okay, you need to look in your dictionary and find out what this means. <laughs> so that was really sweet. Um, this is about a little tiny mouse who saves a princess and all of the things he goes through to prove that thinking differently from everybody else is not always a bad thing. It did have some dark moments. There were some things in it that I was like, ooh, yikes. Um, but <laughs> in general, it was just a really sweet story about love and um, honor and just being who you need to be instead of what everybody else thinks you should be. Um, and it was just, it was really sweet and I loved it. Also, I read the first in the Boxcar Children book series. Um, I read these as a child and really enjoyed them, but I honestly couldn't tell you a whole lot about them from back then. So I picked this up at the library and um, it was a very quick read. It's only like 150 some pages and you know, the print's really big and everything. So it really didn't take long at all. And then I originally, I thought I was getting the graphic novel edition, which I enjoyed with the Babysitter's Club, reading the first um, of the Babysitter's Club series in the graphic novel style. So I was really looking forward to reading this one in a graphic novel style, but apparently I put the original on hold. <laughs> so I went on Scribd and I was able to find the graphic novel edition on there. So I haven't perused it yet, but I think I'm going to do that tonight after I finish this vlog. Um, but yeah, it was just really nostalgic. And the writing was not that great. I mean, it was very, very basic. Um, so it would definitely be on the younger end of middle grade, I think. Um, and I didn't really remember it being that way, obviously, but I probably read this at a time where I was just kind of learning to read chapter books. So for that, it was very good. I mean, for a, for a very young reader, just learning chapter books. This is probably really great. So, and I'm going to continue with a reread of this, I think, because I kind of feel like it probably gets older, <laughs> um, you know, and more advanced the more it goes on, but I don't know. So, but it's funny because this cover is very 80s and this book would have originally come out in the 1940s. So, those girls wouldn't have been wearing pants. <laughs> so, and like the hairstyles and stuff like, yeah, this is not accurate. <laughs> but, um, so I would have, so I'm going to be interested in seeing the graphic novel to see if it is more in a 1940s style or not, you know, as far as dress and the characters and everything. So be interesting. I'll, I'll keep you posted in the next vlog. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, I have some new things on the docket for next week. Um, I still have to go to work, so my situation will not really change very much. <laughs> um, so, but 
I really don't do a whole heck of a lot outside of my house anyway when I'm not at work <laughs> during the week. So, um, so yeah, I should have the same amount of time to read as I always do. <laughs> so, all right, I will talk to you all next week, friends. I have a ta middle grade book tag coming up on Tuesday, and then we'll see if anything else gets done before next week, but <laughs> I will see you on the interwebs somewhere. All right, friends. Bye. <laughs>